Hey guys, this is I am awesome nineteen ninety nine one, and today I'm gonna show you how to install and download PC SX two zero point nine point eight R four thousand six hundred, which is the latest version. PC SX two is basically a PS two emulator that allow you to play PS two games on your PC. But for this to work, you need WinRAR Archiver. If you don't have it, you can download it from rarlab.com. I'll leave a link in the description, but most of you won't need it because most of you have it. Then again, go to Google Chrome or whichever browser you use and go to the PCSX2 download link that is www.freefilehosting.net slash PCSX2098 R4600 setup and download this file. I'll probably ask for captcha. This link will be in the description. And then go to this link. This will be the second or third link www.freefilehosting.net slash ps2 bios both these files are very important download this too once you've done that go you'll get two files like this first of all you open you want to open this up yes and install it uh, I already have this so I won't install that next browse you wanna choose where program files will be for me I want to I want a specific folder but normally for you the folder will already be selected then install it will only take a few seconds close then congratulations you've installed it I want to open this up Choose your language. Next, just choose whichever plugins you want. But you can also edit these later. Next, now when you come to this window, select a BIOS ROM. Then you want to cancel because you don't have any BIOS yet. Then you want to uh, open up Windows Explorer, Documents, and PC SX2. And then you want to go to BIOS. And then you want to open up this file that you downloaded, PS2 BIOS. BIOS, and you want to copy all of these files to here. Once you've done that, close this, close this, and then reopen it again. Go through this thing again. This won't come up for you. Next, and choose whichever you want. And guess who just got PCS60 on his computer? Now you can configure it as you as you want, but most of you won't know how to configure it. So uh, you can just click over here for a link to the configuration video this video is not made by me okay then you can just select an ISO or a disk now I don't have any disk and you can just boot it congratulations yeah now please don't forget to rate like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and much appreciated